For employers wishing to post jobs with WorkInTexas.com, we have a simple desk aid which can be found at www.setworks.org. Once on the website, in the top right corner, post a job with, with Work in Texas. We're going to select that link. Before you begin, there are a few simple steps to be prepared for. Allow time. To create an employer account, you need approximately 5 to 10 minutes to complete the necessary steps. You will need the following to begin the process. A TWC tax ID, a federal employer identification number, or your WorkInTexas.com employer ID. One of these three items will be needed to begin the process. If you don't have these, contact your nearest career center for registration assistance. In order to get registered, you need to go to WorkInTexas.com and click the free registration button. Select one of the registration options. If you do not have one of these, please contact your nearest workforce center for assistance. All right. This is where you would enter either your tax ID number, your federal employment identification number, or your workintexas.com employer ID. Then click Next to proceed. Make sure you read the user agreement and click I accept. Complete the Complete the Create Logon screen. Please write down your user ID and password. Brings us to the Create Logon screen. Use this page to establish your account with Work in Texas. Choose a user ID and password that you can easily remember but won't be easy for others to guess. You can use the same user ID and password for most Texas Workforce Internet applications. The password you create will need to be changed at least every 180 days. Everything with an asterisk is required information. Your name, your job title, your phone number. When creating a user ID, make sure it is at least 3 to 32 characters. Your password needs to be 6 to 32 characters and at least one letter and one number must be included. Always type your password again. You will create a security question, for example, what's my favorite color, and then you would give the answer. The next screen is to create an employer account. If you are a large employer, you may want different accounts for each division or hiring authority. If you have multiple accounts, enter meaningful account names to differentiate one account from another. Enter and upload a notification email address if you wish to upload job postings. You must have HRXML user permission in order to upload job postings. Again, asterisks indicate required information. As the employer, you'll select which type of sector, your employer name, account name, if you have a website you'd like included in your job postings, physical address, including city and state and zip code, and a contact phone number with extension. The next screen is Review the User Permission. You use this page to determine what a user can do within the employer account. Before updating information, verify you have the correct user and account. When a user joins an account, they are automatically given basic view permission. Only an employer account system administrator can assign additional permissions. Examples of permissions are account membership, view access, add, edit, job posting, match, refer job posting, and the HR XML secure FTP, which upload job postings or download job seeker or download job seeker contact information via secure FTP. Administrative permissions, edit employer account, add edit employer user, or reset employer password. Then click Next. The next screen is the confirmation of the user ID. It'll give you a congratulations and your user ID name here. You have successfully registered or joined the following accounts with WorkInTexas.com. The next step is getting started, where you can post a job, which will create job postings so that you can run matches against your job requirements and find and contact qualified job seekers. 
Job seekers will also be able to find and view the postings and contact instructions that you provide. You can also search for job seekers, which is find job seekers that match your requirements. Browse through job seekers and create and save search criteria for future searches. You can also set up account users, which creates additional account user profiles for coworkers that you want to help manage with your WorkInTexas.com account. At any time, should you experience problems or have questions regarding this site, you may contact your nearest workforce center in person or by phone. How to post a job. From the WorkInTexas.com homepage, click Log On as employer and enter your user ID and password and click Log On. From your employer homepage, click on Post Match Jobs link at the top of the page. You can then click on Add New Job Posting from the left navigation menu. Click the basic job posting screen. Be sure to complete the pay, benefits, and work week details by clicking on the hyperlinks. All you need to fill out is everything required with an asterisk. Where there's a red asterisk indicates required information, such as job title, job site address, number of openings, and maximum number of contacts. A contact is counted every time you or a job seeker press the interested button. Some, some matching requirements include minimum pay, maximum pay, work week, shift, duration, whether any supervisory experience is required or not. The next screen is occupations, occupational category, Every time you have a link for click here to display choices, choose it. If there were additional skills for the job that are not posted, you can choose this link. Whether any certification is required, yes or no. If you require a minimum education, you can choose that with years of experience. In the job description box, it's marked with an asterisk. This is where you can really describe your job. There's up to, you can use up to 4,000 characters, approximately 48 lines of text to describe the job, the work location, the hours, everything that's related to your specific job. You can include a website address here also. Use the preferred contact method is to indicate how job seekers may apply for your job. You can be notified of matches by email by clicking yes, or if you don't prefer that method, say no. If a specific driver's license is required for your job, you could put that in here also. If it's not, I wouldn't put it. There's no asterisk is required. Okay. Job status would mean is it full-time or part-time or temporary. And from the time you post the job, it's roughly 30 days or so that the job order will stay active in the system. It can be extended by contacting your nearest local workforce center representative.